The Bible says that David was a man after God's own heart. And we're talking about what that means. And one of the things that it means to be a man after God's own heart is to recognize that we are all sinful people and to not try to hide our sin, but to acknowledge our sin. Now, the Bible tells the story of David with that uh, uh, he had sent his army off to war and that he took another man's wife, Bathsheba. And in order to cover up her pregnancy, he orchestrated events so that her husband wound up being killed in battle. And then he went ahead and took her to be his wife. And it took him a pretty good while uh, to basically ignore what he had done and not to deal with it before God. And so finally, God sent the prophet Nathan. And Nathan told him, he said, David, you're the man. This is what you have done. And he did it with a little parable that he told. And when that happened, David's heart got back where it was supposed to be. And he acknowledged that he had sinned. And we have that recorded for us in the scriptures. In Psalm 32 and verse 5, David says, I acknowledged my sin unto thee, and mine iniquity have I not hid. I said, I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord, and thou forgavest the iniquity of my sin. You see, you can't hide your sin from God. One of the worst things that you could do is to think that you haven't sinned and to think that somehow uh, the Bible is lying when it says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We read also in Psalm 38 and verse 18, David says, for I will declare mine iniquity. I will be sorry for my sin. And again, in Psalm 51, verse three and four, David says, for I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against thee, thee only, have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mayest be justified when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest. So, so David is honest with God about his sin. This is one of the reasons why I think David is declared to be a man after God's own heart. We as, as humans, as fallen sinful creatures, we have all inherited a sinful nature. There is none righteous no, not one. This is why Jesus came. This is why he came to this earth. This is why he suffered and died on the cross was to pay for our sins. And the Bible tells us in the book of 1 John chapter 1, it says in verse 8, if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. And so there's, there's the person who, who declares, I, I am not a sinful person. This is what modern psychology tries to tell us. Modern psychology says that all people are basically good, but sometimes they do bad things. But that's not right. The Bible tells us that we inherited a sinful nature and that from the womb, we go astray naturally. That's the direction that we go. We are rebels by birth. I mean, think about it. Those of you that are parents, you have to teach your kids to disobey? No, of course not. That comes naturally to them. You have to teach them to obey. In 1 John chapter 1 and verse 10, it says, If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. See, if, if we think that we have no sin and that we haven't sinned, not only are we deceiving ourselves, but we are saying that God is a liar. This is something that David did not do. It took him a while sometimes to come to the realization of what he had done. But when he did, he came to the Lord. And it says in 1 John chapter 1 and verse 9, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Here's the good news. Even though we are sinners, <clears throat> because we have a God who loves us and sent his son to die on the cross, if we will be honest and come to God and confess our sins with him, and acknowledge that we have sinned and ask for his forgiveness, he will forgive us and he will cleanse us. Now that's the good news of Jesus. God bless. Have a great day.